live streaming is always fun, isn't it? So uh, what happened, for those of you who were in the first one, and we'll turn this little discussion off for the replay, <laughs> but what happened was actually my mic, the cable in my mic, or for my mic actually came undone. And so when I was messing with it, trying to get it up and running, there was no mic. And so uh, I killed, I killed the stream. I killed the stream. I am so sorry. We are good. We're back on track. Y'all, it was way better. So my apologies for that. I didn't notice. See, this, these are the things that you want to, actually, we're working on a checklist. We, um, I want to create a checklist for you guys of things to check before you go live. And audio, everything has just been perfect. I haven't checked that in a while, so we're good to go. How many of you have had a failure on live? Raise your hand. <laughs> That's all of us. I've been doing this for 14 years, live streaming, and guess what? Even I still have tech failures and it is not about what, if, if it, it's not about if it's going to happen, right? It is about when it's going to happen. And more importantly, it's about what you do to fix it and make sure that your audience is still having a good old time, having a great experience. And then we're just going to keep moving right along. <laughs> yes, Marama Marketing said, I hit the wrong button yesterday. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. David never has issues, of course, right? Everybody, oh my God, how many, right? All right, so let's get into this for realsies. What do you, what do you guys say? <laughs> the stream deck for live streaming, we're gonna cover the what, the why, the how, all of the things that you need to know about stream deck. For instance, what the heck is a stream deck for live streaming? And why would you want to use it? What are some alternatives? Uh, and also I'm going to give you a little demo on how to set the stream deck up. If you are new, please do type new in the comments. I would love, love, love to meet you. And if you are new, then you probably don't know me. I am Laria Petrucci and I'm from Live Streaming Pros where I help you create more professional live video that is uniquely you. And this today is the show that I do with Ecamm Live. And Ecamm Live is my freaking favorite software for Mac. I've tried them all. I love Mac, I love Ecamm. I like use it day in and day out. And on this show, we actually dig into more about Ecamm and help you increase your live video results. So welcome to Go Live Now. Awesome, I see big guy Linus is new. Don is new. Thank you guys so much for being here. Kay is new. John is new to Stream Deck, so I will fill you in on all of the details for sure, John. But thank you to all of our new people showing up, speaking up, and not being lurkers. Uh, I love, love, love to meet you all. All right, so we had a bunch of questions coming about the countdown timer uh, that we use during our pre-show. And I just wanna let you know, you can actually get the countdown timer for yourself. Somebody said, where can I get this? Well, you can get it yourself right here. This is from Live Streaming Pros, not Ecamm, but we do our graphic designer, the magical Mr. Paul Dixon created graphics for you to use in your own stream. More graphics are coming soon, by the way. So you can get that, put it in your stream and you'll be good to go. And we also, the music that we use, um, is from Epidemic Sound. We have a 30-day free trial for you guys. If you want to have awesome music in your own streams, you can check it out right here. And we have a whole list of songs. That link is coming to you in the comments right now. And I know that you all wanna know more about Ecamm because that's what I'm using today. Uh, we have all of the details about my entire setup all at livestreamingpros.com slash GLN. And you can learn more about Ecamm. You can get a free trial. You can get free training right here. So that's the housekeeping. Are you ready to dig in to what is a freaking uh, stream deck for live streaming? So we're gonna talk about what this is and I'm actually gonna show you, but it's essentially a physical switcher to change cameras, change your assets, et cetera, et cetera. So let me show you what it actually looks like. 
So we've got the Stream Deck here, and forgive me, my cable is going out. <laughs> so you can see this is a physical switcher. It has, I have this little propped up so that I could get a better angle. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try not to move this too much. So actually, I'm going to just set this down because this cable is seriously going out. My apologies. I'm actually going to do a full on short demo uh, about the Stream Deck here. This will be better. So you can see I have my main cam, right? That's what we're, what that, but when I switch it, it switches. Yeah. Uh, and so this is what a Stream Deck does. I have my second cam up there. I have all of the different buttons that I've been pushing, the intro, video, the lower third, uh, close up, I have dance breaks. I mean, I have all of di my different assets. I can hide the comments when I push those. Like we have all the things that I need. I have a mute button um, in order to get, you know, to cough if I need to cough or whatever. So um, look, I love this mug. <laughs> Anyway, so if I hit the main cam, guess what? I come back to the main cam. The reason that I love this and why you would want to use something like this, and I just, Susan says, I really need to get one of these push button thingies for my setup with Ecamm. Yes, yes, you do, Susan. Um, the reason that you want this is because it is push button simple at that point, right? So it's really easy to just uh, have it physically, you know, you have the physical touch and you just be, you're able to push all of the buttons and not mess around with the mouse. And so that's huge. If you want a push button simple production that you can do all of the fancy stuff, everything that you saw me do before the countdown timers, the little animated uh, like side graphic, all of those different things can be done by setting it up in Ecamm first, and then you create the buttons through the Stream Deck, and then you just, you're just you just able to push stuff. And you, you maybe have to look down briefly to find your bearing, but what I love is, actually, let me show you this, because what I love about this is that um, I, I set it up so that the main things that I need, I can kind of just like feel, right? I don't necessarily have to look at um the at the buttons sometimes i do but uh i can just feel around and i know that if i'm you know down here in the corner this button right here it's just all touch i know that's my mute button right so it, it has all of the capability um, and somebody says uh nika said does it only switch cameras or also scenes like add an overlay share screen etc Yes, exactly. It does all of the things that you need it to. So if I have my pip right here, this will show you the shared screen pip, right? So I've created the scenes in Ecamm and then I set my e my uh, stream deck up to be able to do everything that I need it to. So what are some alternatives in terms of um, in terms of the stream deck? One, you can do the stream deck app. Um, and that's just your phone. And, uh, so you're ju just, your phone is like, you can use all of the, you can do most of the things on the stream deck app for iPhone versus the PC uh, or sorry, <laughs> versus the physical button. Um, and then you also have, um, X keys as an alternative for PC users. Those, if you're going to be using PC and vMix, we recommend X keys for that setup and Stream Deck for the Mac. I see lots of questions coming through. If you do have questions, please do type Q in the com or in the, the front of your question. And our team is gathering those questions so that we make sure that we answer them all. Okay, so um, let's talk about how to set up the demo. And I think we will tackle most of the questions that you have just by seeing this demo. So let's get to it. So I'm going to go to my PIP screen here. Um, actually, first of all, I'm actually going to show you what I have in Ecamm here. So in Ecamm, we've got the, um, we've got the whole, you know, setup right here. So we have all of our scenes, every single thing that I want to put into my production. And if you did not watch the show flow, the production flow video that we've um, done uh, all about how to set up your production flow, 
that would be a perfect combo video to watch with this video, okay? Um, and so then you wanna make sure that you, uh, here, let me go out of here. So you have your scenes right here, okay? And then you're able to kind of set everything up. So I have this, right? So I have like, okay, we have the, the animated countdown timers and this is an animated thing. Now what I wanna do is be able to go to the stream deck and I want to go to my pip and show you my pip here. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. Um, and then this is as soon as you plug in the stream deck, you actually get this whole um, software to be able to set up your stream deck. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, I, my team is saying that I'm uh do I'm I'm jitter I'm jittery in a little bit. So uh, hold on just a second. Is it that bad? Yeah, you're maxing out your CPU. Okay, I'll just I'm unplug. Maxing. Hold on, let me unplug the. Uh, I think I unplugged the right one. <laughs> we'll see. All right, looks fine to looks fine to to some of the people. So I'm gonna keep. No, it doesn't. No. They don't know. Oh, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to close out some stuff. I just, uh, I just unplugged a USB cam. Yeah. yeah that, there you go. No, okay. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Bye. All right. So this is the stream deck software and we're going to keep, uh, you know, we're going to, I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. So right now you see that this software layout actually looks exactly like my stream deck itself, right? So when I showed you my stream deck, it looks exactly, oops, hold on, actually, yeah, it, it looks exactly like this. So I have my main cam, right? I pushed the pip, we showed you the hide comment, I showed you the mute button. So this is all super, super simple. What you do in order to set up one, and in the software, literally, when you plug in your Stream Deck for the first time, it's going to open it up and guide you, but it's like two seconds and you're in and you're ready to go. Um, so you're going to click Run Scene and you're just going to drag it over to a button. Now, all you need to do is title this. Um, you know, what, what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to do uh, second cam. Okay. And then we're going to select the scene in Ecamm that we've already set up, which is my second cam. And somebody asked earlier, like, where do you get the buttons? I'll show you a cool trick here in just a second. It automatically pulls in an image of what that scene looks like. And so, uh, if I, so I can just use that or, um, I can actually add my own icons as well. So one thing that you can, I'll, I'll show you that here in just a second, but that's how simple it is to set up. How for, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Demo mode, demo mode. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so <laughs> I always forget demo mode. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. <laughs> All right, so when you have your setup here, um, you're, that's, that's how, how simple it is. So did you see, you saw that still in demo mode, but let me go, let me just show you another one. Okay. We're going to take run scene and we're going to put it down here and then we're going to title it. Title <laughs> it. Uh, and this is going to be the timer, um, uh, call to action, right? So the timer video that I had. So then I'm going to just select the item and this is the timer side scene that I've already set up in Ecamm and voila, that's what it looks like. Okay, so let me kind of come back to the main cam, right? We're going to take a look at this second cam. So when I uh, hit these two new buttons, well, that's the button that's highlighted, right? So the second cam is actually highlighted green right here. And then if I want to go to the timer call to action, hi over there. <laughs> yeah. So this is super simple. How easy is all of this? Very, very easy. Um, now let me show you another cool little trick here because 
if you want to set up your own icons, you can create an icon and just create, uh, set it from the file, or you can create new icon and you can get this little, um, kind of, it's, it's just a, it's a website that Elgato has that you can then kind of create your own icon. Look at all of these icons that they have available for you. So you can either have a designer or do it yourself through Canva or something like that and, and load that file in, or we can just choose a file. So let's say, um, let's say Chrome. Chrome is a good one, right? So this is like, this is easy for me to visually see on my stream deck. Oh, guys, by the way, this is what I want to actually, um, this is what I want to show. I want to show my Chrome, right? And so like visually you want these things to just help you run your production without having to think about it. So then we're just going to save key and it's going to ask you to uh, do, uh, to save that. I'm going to type Chrome and then we're going to save. And then we're going to come back into the um, file here. And let's say this was set to do my shared screen. Then I just uh, set from file, Chrome, open, bam, that's what it looks like now. And of course, coming to the second cam, ah, <laughs> stupid cable, I'm gonna have to get a new cable. Uh, then you see the Chrome icon. So you can do a lot with this. You can make it look however you want and you can uh, just, you have a ton of flexibility. Now, the other thing that you'll notice on this stream deck is this little up arrow. This, um, this folder that I'm in right now is my Ecamm go live now show. If I click this, I go to the main uh, production, which is my live streaming pros show. Yeah. So I have all of my assets set up and ready to go for live streaming pro shows. And then if I click this folder button right here, go live now, I've got an entirely different setup and flow ready to go without having to set up each and every time. It's just freaking awesome. I love this thing. I really do. I, you know, I think it's just super simple. The interface is fantastic. Um, and link is in the description, by the way, if you're looking to get it. Uh, and then also you have different sizes. So you can go for a smaller one. This is the XL that I've been showing you. But yeah, you can, you can do all of the different things um, that you want. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> like it's, it's very simple. So if you have any questions, we're gonna go into Q&A for now. But if you're watching the replay, be sure to join us for this Ecamm Go Live Now show every Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific. And for live streaming pros, I'm live five days a week at 10 a.m. Pacific. So join us over on the live streaming pros channels as well. And we'll all have lots of fun together, learn a lot, and uh, you'll keep making improvements to your live streams. That is my entire goal. All right, we'll see you next time. Okay, guys, live, live with guys. All right, we're, we're, I'm pulling up questions here. Hang tight. Um, apologies about the demo mode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that one day. <laughs> Who else does that? Seriously. Erica says, I agree. I'm totally obsessed with my stream deck 15 button. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, so uh, I actually have in uh, Tony, oops, that was not the one I wanted, to, Benjamin. Um, I actually show you, like there, there are multiple uh, videos uh, that, that are cut, that, this is, that, that cover this. Um, I actually have in my Ecamm training, uh, a video that, that shows you how to uh, set up all of that. I also have some extra videos on our YouTube channel about that. I also think Ecamm has some specific tutorial videos about that. So we've got all kinds of different videos for you. Um, Brian says, can I set up the, the stream deck to control a PDF slideshow? Yes, uh, you can. In fact, there are a couple of different ways to do that. Um, and one, one way is to set, so you have the PDF, right? And that's your shared screen, but then what you can do, and I believe, hold on, let me see. Yeah. So let me show you this. 
because I actually have something set up for exactly that purpose. So right here, you see the up and down arrow keys or the up and down keys. These are to control my PDF slideshows. So uh, you just set your cursor on that PDF on the, the preview, and then you can hit up and down and go up and down between those, uh, those images. So uh, that is how you would do that. Now, alternatively, hold on, let me go back. There we go. Um, alternatively, I know one of my client, one of my clients and friends, um, who's actually very active in the Ecamm group, Michael Hyatt. Um, he's done something kind of crazy where he like has each uh, slide as a separate button on his Stream Deck. So that's an alternative as well. Okay, so lots of questions. I'm coming to the questions that were pre that were submitted before. So let me get to those. All right, and then I'll keep ask, answering your question. Um, or I'll keep answering your questions is what I was trying to say. And the cost, let me just grab the cost for you guys real quick. The link is in the description. Um, I can't, I can't find it right now. So if somebody else can put the cost in there for me on the XL, I'd appreciate it. I should have pulled that. Uh, okay. I need it. Yeah. Are the prices fair right now? The prices are fair right now. Um, they seem to be on retail. Uh, when I, when I was looking at that, hold on, I'm going, I'm definitely going to pull that up. Amazon stream deck XL. All right. So the price being 250 for the XL, the one that I have currently, you can get a six keys for 99. You can get a 15 keys for 150. So um, depending on, now one thing I will caution you on is that actually when people get going, they usually go for the smaller ones and then they're like, oh my God, I need more buttons, <laughs> great. So consider that get what you can afford, of course. Um, but I would say six keys is probably not going to do you, uh, really good. So I would, I would start at the, uh, the regular one, uh, the 15 keys and then go from there. Science comedian. Can somebody tell me how you can get the motion graphic running on the back layer plus two resizable video? Um, okay. So I have videos about that. So we've done tutorials specifically about how to set up pips. I have some new videos coming out about that as well. So, um, if our moderators can, can get you access to those videos, um, that that'll be helpful for you. Cause you can watch an entire tutorial video about that. Uh, what's the button in the middle that has the clapboard? Oh, <laughs> so, uh, going back to this, uh, this one, come on, come on camera. There we go. Uh, this one right here, I was just messing around with things. I was setting up the whole icon thing. This is one that I chose from the Stream Deck site. So it's not actually anything. I was just messing around. <laughs> How's that for an answer? So with folders, you can actually have more available buttons, not limited to just the ones there. Exactly. You can set up as many folders as you want, and then you can have all the different productions or um, I mean, you can, you can run it however you want, but I think that that's really the most efficient way is if you have different setups, let's say you have an interview setup, you have a, you know, a demo setup, you have just a straight to camera setup that way, when you're in the production, the least amount of thing you're thinking about the least amount of things for your production, because you need to be concentrating on the content. Yeah. So it's, it's better to just kind of separate those things out into folders. The one thing I don't like is that when I'm in the go live now, um, folder, I, I like my main cam to be this top button because I can feel that. And I just know I can always come back to my main cam without even looking at my stream deck. I'm trying to get this straight here, <laughs> but unfortunately you cannot move the folder up the, the like move to the main folder here or to the main screen. So that's my one complaint about the stream deck. All right. We're going to go back to the main cam. That's a pretty cool shot. Actually. Don't you think that's a pretty cool shot? <laughs> okay. I just got distracted there. Um, can I set up to have a button that mutes my kids while I'm live? 
Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. <laughs> I don't know how to do that one for you. Recovery Addict says, can I set up a Stream Deck to have a button? Oh wait, I already said that. I got the Ecamm plugin for Stream Deck. How do I need to assign key commands to each scene? I just showed you that, John. Hopefully you got, um, you saw that demo. If you have further questions about it, just let me know. I, Susan, would you only put actions that you regularly repeat on the board or would you do some one-offs for a particular show? Absolutely. Before my entire stream. So again, so mods, can we pull that, that video up that I did all about, um, all about the production flow and the run of show. I showed you guys exactly how to set, how to think through your production. And so every time before I go live, I'm thinking about my production and I'm, I'm making sure I have the keys available for that production, right? So I have the basics for every production that I do with live streaming pros and separately go live now. And then I also, each show, I might add one or two things or I might change out something. Can you plug the capture cards directly into the stream deck? No, the capture card needs to go into your computer. This is a USB device. The stream deck is USB. So it literally Hooray! just plugs into your, woo, John, thank you for the $10 super chat. You're freaking awesome. Did you have a question that came with that, let me know. Oh no, it's out of stock. <laughs> I shouldn't have done a show about it. <laughs> um, can you trigger an overlay and a sound effect at the same time? Oh yeah, uh, Purdy News, I, I don't know how to say your name. Um, yes, you can. Let me go back into demo mode and I'm going to come out of the demo mode. I promise, I promise, I promise. But yeah, so when you're thinking about um, adding music or a sound effect, with an overlay, all you need to do is you need to activate that one and you need to come over into the sound effects panel and just hit, if it's a single sound effect or song, hit the gear icon beside the single one or if you want the entire folder to play, you hit the uh, gear icon beside the folder and then you just hit add to scene. So instant, for instance, there you go. Like I've got, Got this song or a sound effect tied to this wanna game shake camera. the ground and then I'm going wanna to break the away and we're going to remove that okay so <laughs> I'm coming out of demo mode so that's how you set it up again we're setting it up in ecamm with all the things that we need and then you're just assigning buttons literally all the stream deck is doing is assigning a button to that scene that you've put everything you want into, right? Okay, um, let's see, I'm, go I'm scrolling up. Let's see, can you trigger, okay, I got that. I think I'm coming up, woo woo! Kathy is new and I'm after live. Uh, what do you mean? You're not watching the replay, you're live. <laughs> Hi Kathy, it's great to, to see you and to meet you. Uh, let's see, I have been, the. Okay, I don't know if you have if you have questions. Okay, if you have questions about the stream deck, put Q in front of the question and let us know, and we will um, we will answer that before we head out. Uh, nope, that was the wrong button. It, it, when it scrolls up, I'm like, oops, I hit the wrong button. I'm ready to buy the stream deck. I saw on Amazon got a link for me to buy, so you get commission. Well, thank you, Dennis. <laughs> you the link is in the description. Um, and we'll throw it, our mods will throw it into the comments again. Uh, but yeah, all of the links that you need for everything I have shown you today is in the description, always in the description. So just, um, you guys know that. Okay. Well, on the last question, can you add a song to an image overlay? So could you add a sound to a GIF? Um, do GIFs work on Ecamm, Katie? Uh, I don't know that I've tried that. Uh, let's see. Uh, so you, but yes, I mean, you can, I'm not sure if GIFs actually work on Ecamm. I think they may not, but, uh, yes, yes, they do. They gifts, gifts work. Fantastic for the comp. Thank you for the confirmation. I've never actually tried that, but yeah, so you can, you, again, you're creating your scene to do whatever you want it to do inside of Ecamm. So you can add the different layers of the things that you want on there. Okay, wrestling on weed. How do you use the gifts? Just out of curiosity. 
Um, I would love to, to learn more about how you guys are using gifts. Hey, I have, a, I have an exercise, community exercise. Those of you who are in the community, uh, the Ecamm Live community, will you tag me and show me like the things that you're doing with gifts? I would love to see that. Um, okay, so can you add the link to your production flow video? Yes, uh, mods, would you mind grabbing that link for us and putting that in the, we'll, we'll throw that into the description after the fact. My mods don't like getting into the descriptions <laughs> and messing around with things when I'm live, which I don't blame them. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get you that. We'll throw that into the comments or into the descriptions as well. Uh, okay. Awesome. And the, the, like I said, if you have not, uh, if you have not watched the production flow video, we'll get that added into the description. I think we've already put that link in the comments for you guys on all the sides, Ecamm's channels. I think Katie already got that link for you. And our mods just put that link into the run of show. Um, that flow that I was talking about in the comments as well. Okay, there you guys go. You have access to that. Now, what other questions do you have around Stream Deck? Um, I love this thing and I think that every time I use it, I'm just like, yay, I, because it's push button simple, right? This is the thing is you want to be able to have a push button simple production. And this is exactly what we talk about um, inside of our studio workshop. And uh, that was an example of me having to look down at my thing, right? Because I didn't know where that called, I couldn't feel it. So sometimes I can just feel it, right? Cause I know exactly where that one is. I moved this one and I was like, I don't know where that is. But that studio workshop where we actually take you step by step directions, give you step by step directions to the gear setup. We give you kits, we give you diagrams, the whole thing in order to uh, make it super easy. <laughs> it's still tied. The music is still tied to this camera. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we give you all of that. We also walk you through all of the software. I'm doing brand new software training for Ecamm very, very soon. So I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, so you guys like get on in there. We'll help you set up your studios so that you know exactly what to do with these types of gears. Um, what can't be done? Um, Troy, I, I haven't spent too much time on that. Um, the reason I don't like, I, there are some missing features. You can't do everything, um, but I'll, I'll figure out, because I'm gonna do like a full on review of the Stream Deck that is recorded. I don't have a cable issue. That'll be going up on my YouTube channel very soon. But, um, and I'll have, I'll, I'll mark down that answer or that question to make sure I answer that in that video in depth. But the thing I don't like about the iPhone version is that it doesn't have that physical touch. So you have to look at it. You have to kind of fumble around with it, but it is good for things like, um, we had a student ask about it earlier and she was like doing yoga. And so she needed to be kind of mobile and not have a piece of hardware around her. So that, that was a good use case for it. Can you share the PIP video tutorial? Our mods can get access to, uh, for you on that. Uh, got one last week using it with vMix. So much easier running a solo production. Highly recommended, right? I mean, it's, it's definitely so much easier. Uh, if you're looking to contact support Raja, uh, I don't know if you're looking for live streaming pros or Ecamm, but uh, both of us have uh, have access to the support uh, emails on our websites. What was that countdown timer on live streaming pros? Uh, so the countdown timer is, okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of that song that's tied to my main stream, my main cam. Um, so the countdown timer, is at livestreamingpros.com slash store, that's the URL. But essentially it's what you see right here. So we, Paul Dixon has given you different uh, colors, different styles of countdown timers, and we give you a, a full on um, actual like file. It's a done for you file for Ecamm and vMix. Uh, so if you you don't wanna hold, go through the whole setup, we've done most of the work for you. All you have to do is load in your purchased file, which is the overlay countdown timer, right? So 
that is how you get it um, and what it is, but we also give you tutorial videos so that you know exactly what to do with that. Uh, and if you have any more questions about that, just let me know. Hold on. I'm going to this one. There we go. Uh, can you set up MIDI controls for light scenes along with music, images, etc.? Yeah, I and that's the, that's the next thing I need to do. Um, and so I do believe that uh, you can uh, is my my understanding of it. I will actually do that soon and show you guys how to do that. How how does that sound? Let's see. Going from Zoom level to Stream Deck on a PC, Logitech Cam was the learning curve. You're just going to Zoom. Um, so PC software, we recommend vMix. It does have a bit of a learning curve, but we walk you through all of that in our studio workshop. Literally like, here's how to set it up. Here's the settings you need to know, like all of the things for both Mac and PC. So I think that that's what you're asking is this, the, the learning curve on the software. Um, but in terms of Stream Deck, this learning curve is really super, it's like, it's almost non-existent because it just walks you through it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm just looking for making sure I didn't answer the question. Can't imagine not having my Stream Deck XL. <laughs> yeah. Do you have two, Adam? You have a Stream Deck XL and a Stream Deck, like the, the regular version out of curiosity. Hold on. Yes, David. Did I do something wrong again? What's that? Did I do something wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong. There's somebody asking a question. Uh, yeah. And you skipped it, so. Oh, no. Um, basically, uh, Science Comedian is trying to, if you can start a video file if you can't add two resizable camera sources on top of a video. I answered so that. two cameras. Oh, no, I, I did answer that. I, I sent them to the, to the to the tutorial that I have. But if you have two cameras, Ecamm can't currently handle like a two camera pip where one camera, one camera, and then the, sh he just hung up. Um, so like one camera and then one camera and then the uh, shared screen. Like we've done that in our vMix production. So a lot of you can keep asking about that. Um, as soon as Ecamm can, can handle that because they are kind of working towards that, I will let you guys know, but currently the two cameras plus a shared screen doesn't work to the best of my knowledge. So uh, let's see, could you transfer all your settings from your physical de deck into the app? That is a great question, Val. I have not tried that. I will try that for the, um, for the uh, review video that I'm working on that is going to just be an, uh, like a recorded video, not a live. So great question, Val. What's the benefit of using a countdown timer? Um, I have a couple of videos specifically all around that, but the, they're at a, at a core level, like the, the benefit of a countdown timer is to get people in a habit of showing up showing up early, um, having a good time. Uh, and we use the countdown timer because, you know, you get, it's, it's 10, 18 minutes before your peak number of views, viewers will show up on your live stream. And so giving them like a 10 minute to kind of come in, time to get the notification. People don't show up immediately when you're live. So we use the countdown timer as a pre-show uh, to engage people, get them excited, get them going, get them riled up for the content. And then we start the show and then we go. By that time, we have more people joining us. And, and here's the kicker. When you don't do that, what you're gonna have is a lot of what did I miss? questions, right? So people come in 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, and they're like, well, I just missed the entire show. <laughs> so there are a lot of benefits. We do have videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash live streaming pros um, about the countdown timer. We've done a few of those uh, in, in the recent week or so. Let's see. Do we have some, uh, could you transfer, what's the, okay. I'm just making sure I'm taking all of the questions here. I, I have the audio, I have the audio stuff on the regular stream deck and then scene related items. Oh, 
Oh, look at you getting all fancy. <laughs> yeah, if you have questions, I'll probably skip it if you don't put a Q in front of the question. Uh, just so you guys know, just that that's kind of how we ask you to ask your questions around here, just so we can separate that from the chatter because our community loves to help each other out. And I love, love, love that. And so instead of like me trying to sort through the chatter, I just look at cues. <laughs> that way, uh, except for this one. Nika, I love how Ekim keeps upgrading and making it better. Oh yeah, like they're just freaking amazing at that. Um, I'll, I'll be like, Glenn, <laughs> Glenn and Ken are the, the developers and um, I'll be like, Glenn, can I get? And then like next update, <laughs> it's like there, I'm like, whoa, they're super fast. <laughs> how do I upload the edited live stream video on the same page as the live? You're gonna have to give me a little bit more on that. I think what you're asking is, um, uh, so edited live stream on the same page as live. Are you talking Facebook, YouTube? Essentially, if you're trying to like do a live stream and then you want to edit it and then upload a new version of it, you can just do that as a recorded file. Um, and just YouTube and Facebook will do that. But um, also it, you can trim and you can trim your YouTube and Facebook file or video live streams, and that will, you know, be there in the same link. So if you're asking a different question, just let me know so I can re re answer that. Um, will this work with OBS stream deck? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. I don't think there's anything. If somebody can correct me if I'm wrong but there shouldn't be any reason why it doesn't. I believe I know a lot of people who use OBS and Stream Deck in that combo. When will you make a button for demo mode on and off? <laughs> Gary, are you, I'm still not, I'm not in demo mode, am I? <laughs> um, I love the demo mode, but I definitely need, I need a, like an alert. Oh, Andre, thank you so much for the $10 super chats. Uh, you are freaking awesome. Really appreciate that. Um, if there is a question that I can answer for you, Andre, just let me know. Okay. <laughs> um, what camera am I using? Uh, the a Sony A5100. Uh, you can get all of my gear here. So every piece of gear that I use is right here um, at livestreamingpros.com slash GLN. And guys, remember that all the links that we typically talk about now, when I talk about like, oh, we have this other video to answer that question, those aren't in the description typically, but all of the main links that we talk about, so all of our gear set up, um, all of the links to like Stream Deck or any products I'm talking about, all of that is in the description. So you can you can pretty much guarantee that we've got what you need or the what you're looking for if you just look in the description. And I know sometimes like on mobile, that's really difficult, but um, we also try and uh, put those in the comments as well. Okay. Let's see, I, I'm going to test the theory of moving from one computer to another with the Stream Deck and keeping the settings. I will test that and have the answer ready for the review uh, when I uh, upload that. Um, well, the so Larray says, uh, do you have training specifically for using the Stream Deck? Is it ideal to have or use Ecamm when using the Stream Deck? So yeah, so you can use the Stream Deck for other purposes, by the way. Uh, if you look at the pip here uh, and you go scroll down here, see how this, this folder is like Ecamm Live. So this is Ecamm Live stuff, specific stuff, but it, it also has just regular system capabilities so you can create different things you can you can adjust the brightness you can create a random action a multi-action you can uh set up a hot key you can add tech like you can do youtube stuff so the stream deck has a lot of different capabilities beyond just ecamm uh, but you also uh want to make sure that you're setting it up with ecamm so if you're live streaming definitely use that Ecamm um, version uh, or that Ecamm integration. Does that answer your question? Okay. Um, okay, I did not see Andre's question with the super chat, so going to see if I can find that. 
Can somebody copy that for me, please? And when Andre, Andre's super chat question was, um, when can we come out and do his studio in New York? <laughs> so we, we, uh, can't get out to New York right now because of, you know, the times, but we actually do have a studio build, uh, ready to go in New Jersey. And we're just waiting to be able to travel until quarantines lift and all of that good stuff. But in terms of us building your studio, here's the deal. If you have a budget of $30,000 or more, including our fee and equipment, we will talk to you about the possibility of us doing all of the work for you, buying the gear, setting it all up, training you or your team on how to use it. That's what we do for our custom studio builds. If you have that budget of $30,000 or more, you can email us at support at livestreamingpros.com and we'll get you the application um, into the application process for that. Um, if you don't have that budget, then that is exactly why we created the DIY workshop so that you can actually do it all yourself and you don't have to pay us that, that crazy amount of money, right? So we charge for our fee minimum 7,500. So it's 7,500 to $15,000 for our fee, depending on the size and budget of the studio itself. So, uh, you know, that's a lot of work on us. So that's a higher end, uh, option, but that's why we built out the studio workshop itself. It's 97 bucks. So, like no brainer, right? Because it takes you through the step-by-step -step process, the exact process that we go through our studio builds with our big clients, we take you through that same process and we show you exactly what you need to do and we give you all of the things that you need to buy so that you don't have any guesswork involved. Um, can you put try putting your mic closer to you? Would love to hear the proximity effect. This is a highly personal preference. <laughs> Are you wearing a microphone or using a microphone on a stand? Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just using the Samsung G-Track Pro here. I'll show you if my if my cable will will not act up. Hold on. So the Samsung G-Track Pro, it's kind of dark. I need to adjust the ISO there, but um, is what I use here. Uh, so it is USB and that is what I'm using. So I don't actually bring it super, super close to my mic, to my mouth, but I could, I certainly could. Here, I'm talking right directly into the mic. How does that sound? <laughs> oh, uh, super chats. Yeah. So how do, um, how does David get his lights in the background to flash when he, when he got a super chat? Uh, so that's all using if this, then that, Essentially, we have training coming inside of our workshop where we describe that process and sh and talk about how, what it takes to get that stuff set up. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. If you have, um, I don't I don't know what you mean by this, but if you have a suggestion for Ecam, they are totally open in their Ecam Live community on Facebook. They're totally open to those discussions. So send feature requests in there. They're listening. That's what I love about them is that they're always listening. Um, do we get the studio training if we sign up for the monthly training? So Scott, our, our coaching program and our workshop are two different things. Um, and so you can't actually get into coaching without first having purchased the workshop because uh, we've done it where you could before and it, it didn't work out because people didn't have that base level of understanding. So they are two separate things. Um, but you guys, just so you know, if you are interested, if you are a student, you've purchased the workshop. Um, if you have, uh, if you're thinking about joining coaching that gives you additional training, gives you support, gives you access to our Facebook group, um, I actually, um, I have that at uh, 37 a month right now. That is going to 67 a month next week. So if you want in coaching and you're a student, reach out to us, support at livestreamingpros.com uh, or just hit the little support icon on our page to make sure that you get, um, to make sure you get that at 37 a month instead of 67 a month, okay? So I'm just gonna, I'm just letting you guys know because I'm gonna have a lot of questions about that, okay? <laughs> Drew Newman, five dollar super chat, no question. Why didn't it? Why didn't it come on? Maybe it's late. 
<laughs> Drew, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. You're awesome. I appreciate you. Can you put the gear graphic up again? I'm literally to buy. Okay, so Donna, click the link in the description, uh, livestreamingpros.com slash GLN. So here, right here at the bottom of the, of the graphic, livestreamingpros.com slash GLN. You can actually look at this graphic. We... You can look at the graphic, you can um, download all of, you have all that, that link has all of the information. So if you hit the link in the description right now in this video, it'll take you to that page, just so you know. Do you have to program Stream Deck the same way you have to program X keys for vMix? No. It is much simpler in my opinion, actually. Uh, I like the setup process. I actually did a demo in this video. Maybe you joined us late and didn't see the demo, but I actually did a demo of what that setup process is. It is incredibly, incredibly simple. So you might wanna go check that out on the replay if you didn't see it. Um, no, of course not, Paul. No, 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 no. We would never do that to you. Are you kidding, Paul? Don't you know us by now? Now, come on. <laughs> uh, what capture card do you use? I currently use the Aja UTAP, um, and that is not available for people to purchase at the moment just because of uh, supply and demand. And uh, I, so yeah, I use the Aja UTAP. I actually have two Aja UTAPs right now bringing in both of my cameras. I David has stole my HD60S Plus, but this is also another option um, that's, that I think actually just got out of stock, but you can try the HD60S Plus. Um, the plus is very important. Plus is important. Plus, 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 plus. <laughs> I have to say that multiple times. Otherwise you guys will, <laughs> otherwise you guys will buy the S and that is not plug and play. Okay, let's see. Oh, free salon education, live stream, the software. Uh, crashed on me three times this week and I was at a loss. Ecamm is $170 cheaper and a game changer. There you go. You know, I just, I love how easy Ecamm is, right? And it's just super simple. We we just got done with um, a, a collaboration we call, it's a series that we call Pimp My Studio. So Pimp My Studio is a YouTube series that we have that where we go into somebody's um, studio, office, home, wherever that is for them, and we set up a um, studio for them. Now, this one was done with Peter Hollins. We just literally got back from that this week. Peter Hollins is an incredible musician, acapella singer, does amazing YouTube videos, has like 2.3 million subscribers or something crazy like that. And we actually had uh, set all of that up and we used Ecamm as a Mac and Ecamm as his studio setup. And it worked incredibly well. Like he wanted something very easy so he and his wife could do their videos and not have to have a producer. Um, and then they like sit down in front of it and he's like, whoa, like this is easy. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, David. Uh, I did not steal your capture card, Peter Hollins did. <laughs> That's why you're calling. <laughs> yes, the cam link works well. The the SD HDS 60s plus. Yes, Peter Holland stole my HD 60s plus, but yes, that would just me, that would just me. be rude. <laughs> Roger, <laughs> young up. Roger, uh, the it's not a YouTube channel. It's on our YouTube channel. So live YouTube.com slash live streaming pros. I don't know where. Yeah you're on Facebook. So youtube.com slash live streaming pros. We have one video out now that is the Pimp My Studio collaboration with Benji Travis from Video Influencers. We have another one in the works. And then this other one with Peter Hollins is going to come out within the next month, it should be. So you'll be able to, to find that. All you have to... <laughs> well, I should put what on a t-shirt? <laughs> Oh, Peter Holland stole my capture card. <laughs> Some people would be like, wait, what? What? <laughs> All right, you guys, remember we're here uh, every Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific for Go Live Now on both the Ecamm channels and the Live Streaming Pros channels. And I also 
Um, we're also live on the live streaming pros channels five days a week at 10 a.m. Pacific. So be sure to join us. Tomorrow uh, is live Q&A. So I can't wait to see you and meet you over there as well and hang out with you and keep training you and keep getting you to see improvements in your live stream. That's what we're all about. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this little demo despite the tech issues. <laughs> and there we go. Yes, Ecamm is a software. So Ben, we talk about Ecamm being um, the level three. So we talk about the four levels of live streaming um, here at Live Streaming Pros. Level one is your phone. Uh, level two is browser-based services or, or cloud-based services that you don't download any software. Those are easy to use, definitely super simple, but they also have a lower quality. And then Ecamm is a level three, so is vMix, uh, where you have the um, where you have the ability to download software and you have much more capabilities to have a professional production. And then level four is adding things like the Stream Deck to be able to have push button simple productions and really up your game when it comes to your production and the quality that you're putting out there. So hopefully that helps. Okay, so Ben, yeah, you're on a level one then. And Switcher Studio is a great level one tool. So that just helps you kind of see like where everything is and understand uh, where you might want to go in the future. All right, you guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. And I think we need a little bit of dance break on our way out. What do you say? Uh -huh.